son of a. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, I thought the gun blew up. I thought it blew up too. I was like, oh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> now, we bring you a world of adventure with... Hello, everyone. This is Jeff of Tau Player Mouse. Today, we're going to be shooting finishing nails out of a shotgun. These are six penny, and we put 14 of them in each shell. 14 nails adds up to one ounce, and that keeps us within our safe load weight limit. Although I don't show it here, I actually poured hot wax into this shell and then embedded all the nails into that. Then I coated the outside of the nails with wax to hold them all together. At least that's the theory and that's the scenario that a lot of viewers wanted me to try. So let's see if that theory works. And Darren is loading up the shotgun with the first nail round. And I really don't know why he's loading it that way, but I think he may be starting a new trend on how to load a shotgun. Okay, nail round number one. Hit it. Not to mean nail it. Nail it. Wow. Now with all that wax we were using, uh, that that seemed to be a problem. It blew out so much smoke out of the ports of the muzzle brake that, of course, it blocked about half our camera footage. But let's re let's resume. I'm sure some hit it, all but, over the place. but it wasn't a hell of a smoke cloud. Hit it. Ha! Well, there's your carnage, but I'm sure I hit the table. Oh, not the table. <laughs> well, it's pretty apparent that the wax did nothing to hold the nails together. The wax broke apart and was vaporized by the hot gases from the shotgun shell. But still the damage was pretty substantial. Some of the nails were stuck straight into the wood. A lot of them just flew sideways and acted like high-speed cheese cutters. And it's really about the same thing you see with the military flechette shotgun rounds that you've seen on YouTube. Now let's look at the high-speed footage and see what happened. The soda bottles had those big blast inflator caps on there and each one was filled with 100 psi of air. Looks like each bottle was hit by at least one nail and they just went flying at very high speeds. We thought the celery would make a nice big target but also be kind of cool when the nails go slicing through it. Of course since the nails broke apart they spread in a pretty wide area. But I'll tell you what, I would not want to be hit by one of those nails. The two nails that hit the clay block went into the clay about three or four inches. And this is probably my favorite shot just because that one nail went slicing through several stalks of celery. And of course several nails went sideways through the table. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun making it. Had a couple scary moments. Thanks for watching. Don't you mean nail it? Nail it! Wow! Son of a... <laughs> Whoa, I thought the gun blew up. I thought it blew up too. I was like, oh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> What was all that smoke about? <laughs>